Welcome to Stream Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome to a new video on my channel, my friends. So today I'm giving you an introduction video to steamdatabase.info. It's an amazing web page that I'm using a lot. Guys, I don't have any partnership or collaboration with them. I just, I just love the page and I think if you are a Steam user like me, you should also check out Steam Database. I mean, it's the best... Uh, database for everything related on steam this is what they call themselves as well guys also in this video i will make a youtube comment picker steam key giveaway as always comment like and subscribe to my videos especially to the last one uh, with the gaming industry and then i'm going to choose uh, uh, the winner at the end of this video guys i'm going to choose two winners uh, that commented on this video on the last one when we reach 30 comments there all right guys so let's head to steam database so what is the problem if you just look on on steam well, or let's say if you are looking on the normal steam launcher you get some sort of information but a lot of this information is actually hidden so you personally you as a as a user you don't get it and and the steam database they use a special ways to get this information so i'm ob obviously i'm not the coder the programmer of steam database so i can't tell you now uh, uh, how they get this information but they're using uh, some i think it's apis etc to get this information from steam so let's let's have a little introduction so this is the the main page of course they they state clearly they are third party website and they just give you a better insight into the steam platform and everything to its database and then also very important steam database has been running at free since 2012 find out how you can contribute i think this is amazing guys a, a page like this completely completely going uh, at free this is simply amazing and and the development is uh, I, I remember i remember in the beginning it was just steam database and we used the calculator to calculate our <laughs> to calculate how much our uh, steam our steam account is worth and so and then you clicked on get disappointed in your life so this was this was the beginning guys so this was the beginning and now now everyone uh, is actually using it for for the information you get on sale so now we have here most played games this is actually a very very good overview about the most uh, so so the most players we have right now for example now with counter-strike and we already always see the peak and if you just scroll over it you see immediately is this game good you see the rating for example uh, with uh, for counter-strike with 87 percent plus with the metacritic store again so much information and you see if you have it in the library so i'm now connected also to the steam database therefore i see i have it in my library and uh, you see counter-strike dota P pubg so apex legends all of those games those are the classics they have been there a lot always in the top ranking so uh, nothing nothing special there and i think what i really like is the new trending the new trending uh uh, uh the new trending games where you can see how all you also see how they were trending actually in the last seven days and you can see for example for the trending games you see now a Synit mmo has 1738 this is a this is an mmo for your vr headset pretty cool so those are those are the games that are trending right now i mean there we don't see counter strike of course counter strike with over 300,000 uh, wouldn't make sense to sense to put it here so therefore we see here some some smaller games also a way out uh, metal gear rising etc so if you want to see if there is there a game that people uh, were kind of jumping in the in the past seven days on the game and played now so that's actually a very good uh, good indicator to to get this information then we have of course the popular releases that's a very important uh, part for me i always check those popular releases out then you have also the price in dollar you can set it to any currency i have it now to dollar since i use it often for my videos and then we have also the hot releases so those are games that are actually yeah, that have a good rating so this is the rating based on the rating and then you see not for broadcast has a hot rating we see Sirius M Siberian Mayhem has a good rating which is only $18 for example or Cynic MMO has also a very good rating 
And then, and then, and then my friends, we see here's the Steam Sale events, Steam Sale events. Those are all those tiny little Steam Sale events that are going on. Of course, we have the Steam Luna New Year Sale at the moment. So let's go back to Steam here, guys. So yeah, of course, this is the big event, you know, this is the, you, you see this when you go on sales here, you click on sales on the tab, and then you see, of course, uh, uh, the Steam Lunar New Year sale and all the other sales are also included here. So I talked about the sale already so often, I'm not really, I'm not talking more now about this here, but I just, just want to highlight here, you see also some, some specific little events like a Total War sale we have at the moment going on, or we have a Dying Light sale going on, or we have a Goblins Lunar New Year sale. So those are kind of the, the sales we have from the companies themselves, some companies that make a special sale now within the framework of the Lunar New Year sale. For example, now I'm taking um, Xbox uh, out there and then I see Oh, okay, those are all Xbox games that are on sale right now. So you can now uh, tell yourself, so hmm, I want to have all those, I want to have all those uh, Xbox games. So uh, I just thought zero, zero percent. I just thought it would cost zero dollars. No, Minecraft Dungeons. Then you can look, okay, okay, cool. Which one of those Microsoft games am I missing? And you check out the price. And then that's how you can can create a better and a bigger collection. So of course, if you are interested in this, and then we have Steam database in numbers. So how often the, the database is used, packages in database, bundles in database, and releases uh, in this year. So over two hundred seven thousand apps. Apps. So I think this is not only games. This is also some other form of apps. My God, guys, so many games, so many games. I mean, who can have all those games? Obviously, I don't have them. I have already over 5,000 so-called apps in my account, but this is really impressive. And then recent app events, I think this is very, very cool to see. So you see when a new game comes out, you see new game on store, new demo, and you see when a new demo is released, a new game on store, new demo renamed on store. So if games, for example, change their name, you can see it here. New game, new super runner. And then always, if you just hover over it, you see this little tiny video on the left side. So this preview video, this is pretty amazing. You also see when, it's, for example, something gets uh, retired. So it's taken off the Steam store or removed from the store Cats and Jigsaw. So why has this game been removed? Well, I think I don't see this information now. So family sharing disabled, so maybe we should then, we have them to click on this game. So this is also the, the, the special uh, identification number of the so-called app. And uh, yeah, a lot of information guys, a lot of information. So pretty, pretty cool. So Steam database, sale, charts, we can go on the charts, most played games. Then again, we see all time peak, for example, we can compare now for Counter-Strike. Uh, we can see the current the 24 hour peak, and then we even see the all time peak. So that's cool. And all time peak of Dota is slightly under the all time peak of Counter-Strike. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. So I love this. If you are a data centric person, if you like data, if you like data for video games, I think you should check this out. Concurrent Steam users. Also, of course, here, yeah, this is when, when Europe goes to bed or the US are going, to, US uh, gamers are going to bed and uh, you always see that this little drop, of course. And then the calculator I just mentioned there, you just put your, your, your own profile in. So I guess that's my profile. Yes, you, otherwise another profile pops up. No, that's my profile. So get disappointed in your life. Well, I would say with those discounts, $15,000 is not that. It's not that bad. Actually, I always thought I would have spent much more money on on Steam, but yeah. And here, if if you don't know which game to play, this is so. For example, you can then just play uh, play one of the games that uh, the Steam database is <laughs> is uh, recommending to you. So 
all the games I can see here here is the list of all my games and then I can say uh, I organize them due to the time that I played them then you see Call of Duty multiplayer uh, I played the most and you also see I used of course the video suite a lot for my videos Steam VR there the counting is not correct this doesn't work really but I like this so you can see how much actually how much time you spent in video games so this is actually sometimes disappointing when you spend so much time and then you forget actually uh, to do other things in life. So patch notes, curated patch notes for Steam games. games. This is also a pretty nice uh, overview. Well, here, here it's it's a bit more difficult to actually look for those games. So I'm just getting, I, I don't care. I just let it uh, download and that's fine for me. So I don't really need those patch notes. But sometimes you get the patch and then you ask yourself, what was, what is going on? Is this update, is this patch actually helping me now? Then we have upcoming, of course, so this is actually pretty, pretty cool. So we have the trend uh, of the followers. So those uh, are always the new followers. For example, Life is Strange Remastered is now very popular, has 15,000 followers and is also in the trend going up. So those are the, all the games that have been released on the 1st of February. And you see, we always talk about those games like Life is Strange, but then we forget all of the other games here. Uh, uh, down in this list so i mean who's talking about juicer who's talking about robert space story so obviously no one's talking about those games uh, and i mean this is also one of the big problems of course with steam we have simply too many games so every day guys every day like 10 15 20 games are coming out and sometimes 20 30 games are coming out i mean so many games are coming out and you also see so many free games so if you're interested in getting some free games then uh, uh, yeah just just look at this list so every day guys you will get a free game to play almost every day there's a free game to play so don't tell me you don't have anything to play all right so i would say that's it for a short introduction video to steam database the database of everything related to steam so make sure to comment like and subscribe and then you can win of course one of the steam keys in my subreddit group and the winner here is oh i can't read this so <laughs> youtube playlist so so this is this a spam guys is this spam i don't know i don't know so well <sighs> difficult to say but i'm just choosing another winner now sorry dude and drafigo 13 have a good day this is not spam and you won my friend so check out uh, to, to to my steam key giveaway list and uh, my subreddit and then you can choose one of those steam keys and of course the yeah, the winner where I just said is spam. If you're not spam, then make sure to also contact me. Then you will also get the steep key. I just want to clarify this. All right. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.